Hello and welcome to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. I'm Stero and today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, a guildmate has asked me to uh, help him set up a Grand Arena defense um, with one of his accounts, the guy, and that's what we're going to do. So yeah, hopefully this can help you figure out the how you should set your defense and kind of like the thought process that goes into it um yeah so first off um the guy wants a, a turtle defense doesn't want to put a, a ton of effort into the grand arenas if he can help it so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do it do a turtle defense i personally think going all out on offense is generally the better way to do because then it forces your opponent to to play skillfully as opposed to hoping that your opponent will make mistakes. So, but um, if you are going to do a turtle-ish type thing, then um, yeah, that's what we're going to make. So I'll start with 3v3. And just right off the bat, um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six GLs. Got gas, Revan. Those are good teams. We've got Grievous. Um, we've got Malik. Okay. Do we have a Sith Empire? How's our Sith Empire? No Malgus. Okay. Uh, what about Phoenix? Do we got a Phoenix? Where's P -p 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 Phoenix? No Captain Rex up and running yet, unfortunately. Um, Inquisitors, nope. Uh, troopers, yes, but not Dark Trooper and not Aiden. So nothing much defensive there. Uh, let's take a look at Rebels. We got Mon Mothma, I would assume. So you can make a team there. Yeah, Mon Mothma and throw together Kyle and Kara. Yep, that, that's a pretty solid solid team. Um, does he have Radis? Not really up and running. Who else are kind of like key characters? Does he have Resistance? Does he got Zori? Not up and running. So that's a little, little bit rough. Um, okay, let's check out his ships just in general. Five star executor, finalizer, radis. We've got come up and split not five star, so he doesn't have the good reinforcement yet. Chimera, a level one negotiator. Let's check for key ships. Uh, Empire, do we? We do not have Iden ship or. Oof, yeah, so that's not going to do a ton for you, but let's go look at our Galactic Republic fleet. We do have Marauder, only at 6-star, but we do have Relic 6 on these guys and max out abilities, so that's a good fleet to have. Um, Plo Koon is Relic, and his Starfighter is 7, so this will, this will be like your main fleet then. Uh, let's go look at Separatists. Yep, got everything. Relics, relics, yep. Maxed out. Good fleet. Alright, so we've got we've got some good stuff here to work with. Let's look at our bounty hunters and see what they're looking like. No relic there, but alright. So this is what I'm thinking. This guy's in Kyber 3 now. Um he just got back from a long break. Fleets are gonna be a weak spot. So Let's try to throw something up that defends against fleets. For turtling, um, how I see it is your objective is to um, clear like top or bottom, one or the other, and then have it so your opponent can't clear the same amount. Um, So I think we'll just take uh, Master Kenobi, actually Datacrons, got Padme Kron, got a Support Kron. Eh, 
Pad Support Cron, but it's got some Datacrons farming up here. Uh, Padme Cron is the big one there, so we'll do Master Kenobi on defense, Lord Vader on defense, and Rey on defense. Kylo is not the greatest on defense, and he can take down Jabba's and stuff, so. Um, Sith Eternal, not good on defense, and Master Luke, also not great on defense. Actually, let's look at the Sith. Does he have Treya and Savage? Not Savage. He does have Treya, okay. Um, and then also... Do we, do we have a Wampa here somewhere? Wampa. Only Relic 3, but, you know, usable, I guess. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so... Those three on defense will probably throw Gas on defense. Uh, Grievous on defense, Mon Mothma on defense. Um, I believe we have a Qui-Gon Omicron here. Yep, that'll be on defense. Do we have... There's Master Qui, Padawan and Obi-Wan. Do we have... I don't see Queen Amidala yet, so okay. All right, so I'm going to bring us over here quick to this little sheet that I'm going to fill out. Uh, boom. Nice. All right, so 3v3, let's start with that. So we'll we'll put a JMK Admicron up here. We'll put a we'll put a Ray up here. We got to look. Does he have Ben? Go. Uh, what's Ben on Line of Force user? No, no Ben. Okay, so Ray's gonna be a much less potent team then. So we'll put her up here with J and K. Uh, let's put Lord Vader down here. Um, so those are our three GL teams. Let's throw. Gas up top. Uh, let's throw a Grievous down here. Um, I think I also saw Star Killer is kind of low gear, so we'll we'll have him be a trap team. Um, You know what we could do is JMA, JMK Padme Cron. You know what? Actually, let's just do normal JMK. And then let's do a Padme Cron with uh, Snips and uh maybe not some uh general kenobi and we need an attacker um pull in gmy maybe let's pull in gmy then we'll do jmk with uh cat and snips um wait yeah he does have commanders okay okay i'm not crazy sweet okay so uh, so yeah padme Cron is going to be really tough on its own um jmk is really tough on his own Ray, eh, gas, okay. Um, who do I want to put here? Mm, I 
maybe a CLS. Or no, no, no. Let's do let's do Qui-Gon, Jedi Knight, Anakin, and uh, Yadi Mundi. There. So that that that's they're gonna be heavily dissuaded from going up top. And now we want to make sure that we're gonna put a Mon Mothma team down here. Uh, this will be Ara and uh, what's his face? Jedi lightsaber guy with a lightsaber guy. Kyle Katar. Kyle. Great. GG plus two, whoever looks some stuff up, see, what, see what's there. Um, so these two both are wampable, but we can be a little bit of a pain in the butt if you have to. And you only got one wampa. Uh, we'll do a. CLS, Chupio, and Ripio. And then we shall do um, we could do a Dash Han Chewy. But I think, I mean, that's a really good offensive team. Let's see. Obviously, you can tell this isn't pretty planned because uh, getting a little stuck here. Um, might just need to put. You know, what, let's just put shock T here. Shock. Uh, and her, that would be Echo and Arc. All right, back wall, JTR, BB-8, R2, B2 is a very annoying team. Um, well, let's, let's go back and look and see what else we got left here. We've got a Dooku, Django, let's look at our Separatists. We do a Newt Dooku Django. Let's do a Newt Dooku Django, actually. It'd be annoying to deal with. Um, okay, we got those guys. Scoundrels, actually. We've got nest. Let's let's use nest here. Um, who to use with nest? Mm, there's a bounty hunters team there. It's a good offensive tool. Zam does not have our Omicron. We've got Queel. Do we, we have Beskar armor, Mando? We do. Okay, Mando, Queel, and IG-11 are going to be a team. Um... We're gonna bring in Star Killer. This would be Emperor Palpatine, MJ, and Star Killer. There's a little trap on the back wall there. And then Nest. What to do 
with nest. Um, critical damage. Nest is just scoundrel smuggler. I don't think we have many. I don't think we have better leads here. All right, let's do. Let's do a young Lando L three next. Okay, now let's look at uh, Datacrons real quick. Not a ton of stuff to go off of. Um, tank revive would be good. Yeah, I guess. Mm. <laughs> Bring us back over to the sheet. Okay, so this is pretty heavy. This is not super heavy. Let me get to the back wall. Jedi training ray is annoying. This is an annoying team. You can underestimate that team. Uh, this one is going to be annoying. They're not going to be expecting a star killer. And nest is is annoying. They'll probably. Try to use bounty hunters on that. Unless they use bounty hunters on Lord Vader. I'm not sure how well that works in 3v3 though. Um, you could probably switch one of these teams out. Um, with, you know, let's just do this. Create a little Lex team box. You could probably do... Uh, Darth Revan... Malik, uh, Bastlishan, Fallen, into one of those slots. Uh, for your fleets, or fleets, okay, so we've got Negotiator, you want that up for offense, I would imagine. I guess this is what I'm thinking, so it's, it's like a turtle, but... I'm incapable of thinking like a full turtle, so I'm thinking if you have enough to take out any of their fleets, I guess that you can you can go one of two ways. You can set your hardest defense and just ignore fleets completely, which would just be negotiator, executor. Oops. Computer and level, and then have like pretty much nothing for offense. Or if you wanted to change things up, I would take honestly all three of these on offense, and then just put down uh, Chimera and your other stuff, just crap fleets, and hope that this this holds. Um, if you do a tough Elite defense, and you don't think they can get through it, you could swap these walls. You know, top to bottom. Alright, anyway, so that's 3v3. Well, let's move on to 5v5. 5v5. We'll do another split where we do a JMK Adme Kron with something. We'll do a Ray. Do a Lord Vader. Um, gas down here. Um, uh, I got up top. All right, Lord Vader gas down here. Um, what are your other like good good teams? 
I guess you could do like a CLS and then uh, maybe do a, a Mon Mothma team and then in back throw Starkiller, which just use whoever you want in the Starkiller team. Um, do. Grievous. Um, there's a variation you can do on Grievous that stops Wampa, but he'll use Wampa on Mamma. And then um, oh, what should we put back here? How fast is Piet? Three, four, that's really fast. That's very good. Uh, got a Treya team. Yeah, actually we do have Treya, but that's such a good offensive team. Hmm. Let's take out these guys and put Treya in the back. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's do a Treya as your trap team. And then again, I think a good flex team here would be... Um, your Darth Revan Malak team. Um, same same exact thing. Chips, Negotiator, Executor, and Malevolence. Now, same caveat. If you go these three, uh, and they don't have the strongest fleets, then swap the swap the two walls. Uh, if not, then don't do it. And I'll bring you guys back so you can actually see what I'm talking about. There you go. All right. So this is how we've got it set up. And uh, that still leaves, you know, if you flex Malik with Treya or something like that, that's a that's a solid team. You've got three GLs. You can break through probably the bottom wall. Or if you take your fleets with you, you can break through top wall and take on fleets. Um, so you still have enough juice, especially in, uh, 5v5 to break through a wall and, and get to some easier stuff, still get like a decent amount of the score on the board and they should have all things being equal, it, it, pretty rough time getting through your defense in threes. You might struggle a little bit. Um, and if you find that you want to have more offense, you can always switch some of these out put in some some weaker teams but um yeah so that's that's my recommendation for the guy and his grand arena setup for 3v3 and 5v5 um yeah let me got let me know if you guys like this um if you want me to do more of this down in the comments and yeah until next time thanks for watching Thank you.